Hello, everybody. So today we're going to talk about double foiling. Um, and what double foiling does is it allows you to use the waste from foiling so that it doesn't become waste. So the other day I made a pineapple card and I used the um, pineapple foilables, which I got out of this kit pattern pack four from Creative Vision Stamps Foilables. And I had used this um, background, which is a high quality toner sheet and I had foiled it in gold. And so I had this left over. So I didn't want to throw this away. So what I did was I cut out a piece of the solid toner sheets again from Creative Vision Stamps, which is just a piece of paper covered in, in toner, which you can see here and ran it through the mink machine. And so now we're going to reveal it. And we have this completely foiled background now. And so this is now the waste. So you can see we used it twice to foil two different images. One was the positive image and one was the negative image. So now we can assemble this on our card. And let me just make sure this is cut down to size. Okay, good. And this is just a pre-made black um, A2 standard size card. And then I had stamped and colored this pineapple also from Creative Vision Stamps, and I think I'm going to use 3D foam dots for him. There you can see I stamped it, and it didn't come out so good the first time I stamped it, so that's the back side of it. And that is the mink you hear clicking in the background. Yes, I'm using the waste from my foam tape. Still works, no reason to throw it out. pop dots, whatever they were from. And we're just gonna pineapple right there on the center of our card. So now we reuse, like I said, the same piece of foil twice. We're not wasting any of that beautiful foil. And we have a cute card that now has a pineapple background and pineapple on it. Okay. So I wanted to show this example again, and we're going to step it up a little bit. I had showed you guys, um, when I got this, picked this up at the last, um, stamp show, this is the new foilables um, Happy Easter set. This is a pretty large set. You're getting a lot in this set. So let me show you everything that you're getting and what we're gonna do with it. So you're getting these very large sentiments that you can cut out and put those either inside or outside. So here's some more. And again, you can color these, you can ink over them before you foil them, you can cut them out with your die cutting machine. So then we have these large eggs. So you can foil this and put it over the egg. We also have this scribbly egg design, which is super cute for a background. And then we have the little egg design, okay? So let me just show you a couple of things we can do real quick here. I'm gonna start with a couple of backgrounds. So I'm just gonna cut these down real quick. And 
then instead of making this video super long, I'm going to pause the video while I cut some of these down. I'll be right back. Okay, it's a good thing you guys didn't have to wait for that. So what I did was I cut down some of these background sheets from the Easter package. So I have um, two of the scribbled eggs, two of the solid egg, little eggs, and then I hand cut out three of the eggs. And then the sentiments I just ran through with an oval die. So I cut out two of the Happy Easter's and then two of these little Happy Easter's. And then I grabbed some other designer backgrounds. So um, this one is called um, Pattern 55. It's just a squiggle pattern. And then these two I pulled out of the foil pattern pack number three. So foil pattern pack number three um, gives you all four of these designs and I just cut two of these. And I cut these down to five and a quarter by four. So the first thing I wanna do is foil my backgrounds because these are the backgrounds that I'm going to need to decorate my eggs. So I think, and I did cut out some different colors of foil. Um, I might actually have to cut out some more here because I'm just thinking how I'm gonna go here. So I think the first one I'm gonna do are these solid little eggs. So I'm gonna take my little duster and just real quick dust that off. And then I cut out some pride foil, which is this rainbow colored foil. And again, I wanna dust the back side or the silver side of my foil. We're gonna run that through. And then I have this new one for me. This is called Confetti and it's very sparkly and holographic. Again, I want to dust off the matte side and then I think I'll do the squiggles with this one. Do I have enough? There's a little corner there. Let's see, how do I get around that? Oh, I might barely have enough here. see how that goes. This is just me being cheap on the foil. Okay, run that through. This one's done. We're not going to reveal it yet. I'm just going to try to foil as much as I can foil here. Um, I have a small piece of pride. Let me see if that's enough to cover sentiment. Yep, do that. And then this one is a pink color. This is called Razzle Dazzle. We'll do this zigzag pattern. my mink on setting three and when you run it through you want to not reveal it right away if you can help it and just give that a second to cool This one is called Sugar Plum. So 
we're doing is just foiling all these sheets. We want to make sure everything is completely covered here. In my haste to cut the foil, I did not cut it all the way wide enough. Should be okay there. that one and then let's see here this is really pretty you know what we'll do one of these the squiggly eggs this one's one of my favorite colors this is called seaside cabana something stuck on this one where is my eraser And I yeah, realized that I didn't dust those other ones off, just tried to get them in as quick as possible. Okay. So then all we're going to do at this point is um, start revealing and assembling and you just mix and match. I'll do some more sentiments here. I didn't cut enough foil. ready for the reveal all right so pretty now this excess foil here not a big deal we're just going to take our mono sandy racer and it comes right off look how pretty oh my gosh i love this foil so pretty and rainbow colored it's gonna look so cool Now we want to save these excess pieces because we're going to reuse those. So I do see a little excess in the middle right here in this one. And this tiny little corner here didn't foil and there's dust in there because I didn't dust that one off, but that's okay. Still looks good. So cool, all the bright colors. This one's really cute, really fun. This one's called um, Razzle Dazzle, which is the, it's like a fuchsia color. Sugar Plum. Nice purple. Okay. And then Seaside Cabana on the scribbled eggs. So cute. So cute. This one we're going to do something a little bit different with, I think. Okay, so then the next step is we want to foil our um, eggs. And we're going to do double foiling here. Okay, so these are all done. So now what I want to do is I want to take these solid eggs. So the first one, remember to dust them off. And I'm going to take this squiggled pattern. And we're going to put that on our egg. We're not wasting 
any foil here. We're reusing that foil. In fact, I'm going to move it over and down so I can leave some space there. I'm just going to run that through. And then for our other egg, we have our little zigzags. Now the first one was zigzags, this one squiggles. little egg I think we'll do these little scribble eggs reveal the egg so now we've used this foil twice we've used it once to do the background which is here and now we have the egg the match now you can stop there if you wanted to but I'm not gonna stop there any area that is still black means that it still has toner and we can reuse that toner so again we're going to very gently wipe our egg and we're going to double foil this so I'm going to foil this pink with this coastal I'm sorry seaside cabana and we're going to double foil this egg and then this egg has the squiggles in confetti very very pretty and for that one I think I want to add some let's add some more of this purple to that actually no you know what I want the lime green lime green is a pretty Easter color right reminds me of that flake fake plastic grass. And this is called Holly Jolly. And you can get all of these products at creativevisionstamps.com online. With the exception of the toner sheets, they are brand new. They are still being tested out at the shows. It's not on the website yet. have our little squiggle egg which is our last little egg and let's see what color should we add to him I think I'll add the purple to him now his lines are really fine so let's see how much it picks up Get our double foiled egg. It's so cute. You see all the colors there? He is pink and teal. And then this one is 
Wow. Confetti and lime green. Now these black spots that you see, that's where there was dust. I didn't do a very good job at dusting because I was rushing. And we can fix that very easily. We're going to take our little quickie glue pen and just put a dab on the dot there. If I can get my glue to come out. Dust and impatience are the enemy of foiling. But we can fix it. It still looks cool. Oh, this one came out great. That is super cool. All right, so he's got this teal turquoise background, and then he has these purple lined eggs inside. And that's what I love about Creative Vision Stamps Foil. It is so precise. I mean, there is no flaking or peeling off there. This one doesn't have any dry spots on it. So cute. So we're just going to give these two a second to dry off. I think we are done with the mini mink, so we can just move that aside for now. And all we have to do at this point is start assembling. I have some pre-made card bases I'm going to use. And I just picked these up on sale. And I know they're black, but I just think the black really pops with foiling. I'm going to slide these guys out of the way for a second. And all we're going to do now is just start assembling. So, you know, we have all these different backgrounds. And then these sentiments, you can decide to put them over top or put them inside. Up to you what you want to do with them. They're large enough for either. What I also wanted to show you was um, this one that we foiled. I want to color that one in. I'm just going to grab some markers. You can grab your Tombow markers or whatever. I have some zigs here. And I'm just going to randomly color them in. It's not going to affect the foiling. You can color them before or after you foil them. It really doesn't matter. This paper is a really good quality and it picks up the ink and they dry very, very quickly. You can even use, you know, if you have Copic markers, you could use those too. Whatever markers you have, this paper is very forgiving. And it's heavy duty, so it's not going to fray or come apart. I'm not, any rhyme or reason here, I am just going in and just... Coloring these eggs.
see what else do we have here. I like this darker like purple. It looks like a dark blue. Okay, so there are all our eggs are colored in. Simple, cute. So and so on. All you have to do now is just, like I said, assemble your cards. I will probably cut out a glitter frame to frame these and before I put them on the cards. And then we'll have these cute Happy Easter cards. And then for those eggs that we have to fix real quick, once that glue dries, you just take what foil you have left over and just stick it to the dots. And now we have corrected that. So that was that one. All fixed. And where is our lime green? Here we go. And now those black spots are no longer on our eggs. They are super cute. So for like this one, I might do this and then put these eggs on each side. Super cute. And then like I said, for this one, I will probably die cut some of the glitter paper out and put that around the eggs and then so on and so forth. So I just wanted to show you guys how you could do double foiling. It's super easy to do. Um, again, this kit is from Creative Vision Stamps. You have your Easter kit. You have the toner sheets. I'll show you guys everything that I used here. And of course, the foil. So some super cute foiling you can do, coloring it in and double foiling so that you can multi um, use multiple patterns. And again, what I used was the um, pattern kit 55, which was the squiggles. I used foil pattern pack number three, foil pattern pack number four, which I put away already, um, the happy Easter foilables and the foilable solid toner sheets. And the, again, the foilable solid toner sheets, this is what you can use to cut out any kind of shapes or die cuts. I didn't use them on this card, but I used them on the on the pineapple card I showed earlier. Um, but if you guys have any questions, don't hesitate to post them down below. Oh, here we go. Pattern pack number four, which came with the pineapples um, and then so on. And then the colors of foils that I used today were the sugar plum which is the deep dark purple razzle dazzle which is the dark pink the holly jolly which is the lime green 
Seaside Cabana, which is this nice teal color. Confetti, which is the holographic little squares. And Pride, which is our rainbow foil. So that's everything I used today. And of course, the duster. And you might want to have a little mono eraser and a quickie glue pen to fix any mistakes. If you guys have any questions, post them down below. If you like this video, I appreciate your thumbs up. As always, thanks for watching and keep on stamping. Bye-bye.